Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And then let me go ahead and intro this music. This is gonna be Atomic Samo. Um, I actually played one of their albums during my stream yesterday. It's actually not too bad. Um, but this is this one here is gonna be Levitation Loom 4. So, let's go ahead and get that going. And, um, I do have a fair amount I gotta cover. And, um,. And I'll I'll explain more why later, but uh, in this is for the most part hurriedly put together. So, and like a lot of my other cast videos, there's a fair amount of moving parts on this. So, just get ready for some mistakes. Um, but anyway, to start with, oh, well, yesterday's stream we actually went pretty good. Um, made a lot of progress. Um, one of my, um, uh, one of my regulars, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, some streamers are mental. <laughs> yep, that's me. But, but yeah, um, he helped, he helped me along. He's been playing this game for presumably a very long time. Um, he just, but he's helped me, you know, he helped me break through the wall. Um, I think, yeah, I got, it wasn't this particular game, but I just have this running in the background. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm currently at a uh, level 231 right now. stuck around uh, around uh, level 100 but uh eventually he would help me get all the way to uh, level 300 and uh, a level I've never gotten to before and right now I'm at a uh, 233 what's that Want to show a little bit of this? So, yeah. Um, next stream, next stream. I'll actually. Now that I think about it, there's gonna be a chance that I might actually play something else, and then have idle champions running in the background. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll see. I'll see when I actually start uh, starting up my stream. But, um, shortly after that, uh, I think I did my grocery shopping, uh, came back home, came back home and got a little tired, so I figured it was time for a nap, and, oh, what a freaking night that was. I think, um, from 7 p.m. all the way up until about 1.32 a.m., all I did was take naps. So, yeah, this, this alone... It was a very bad night for me. And um, I do need to do one other thing. Um, I forgot to make an adjustment on here. So. Okay, so I did. But yeah, just. I want to take a one hour nap, wake up. Uh, I want to get up. And then I would, I would, um, I would, um, set my alarm clock for another one hour nap. Plop. Lay back down again. About another hour. And then, you know, it's basically a rinse and repeat up until again, until about, I think it was like 1.30, 2 a.m. I think I might have actually, you know, gotten up and tried to watch something. But, it'd be, uh, mere moments and I just start falling asleep on the couch. So, back to bed I go. But I do, um... I do need to add one thing. Something, uh... Something I forgot. Oh, 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 oh. Not that window. Not that window.
my brain kind of farted. So. I guess in the meantime, just sit back and enjoy the music. Okay, so uh, a really uh, walk, a really goopy-looking image, uh, OBS image might come up here. Just give you guys a heads up. I'll try to stop. I'll try to stop it beforehand, though. Okay, there we go. But those that have seen my other casts might not. Uh, they might have. Uh, they might not. They might already know about this, but. Uh, I made the mistake of buying some, uh, I used to drink these a lot back in the day. Um, just five hour energy drinks, peach mango flavored. I love the taste of them. But the only reason I can think of is why I'm having a, why I'm having the, what's basically insomnia issues. is just starting to drink these. Now, I don't, I'm sorry if this, uh, if this is TMI or if it creeps anybody out, but uh, when drinking these, I don't just, I don't just, I don't just chug like the whole entire bottle. Usually, I just take like a sip, just take a little sip here, here and there, every so often. So, I guess, kind of time release, if that makes any sense at all. And usually, um. With these, uh, with these drinks, oftentimes there's a big crash that follows. But again, I don't. It's not like I chug an entire bottle at once. I'm just drinking like a little sip throughout the, throughout the night. But otherwise, I mean, that is pretty much the only reason why, uh, the only reason that I can think of why I was zonking out, or yeah, why I was uh, zonk, why I zonked out last night slash this morning. But um, if that is the case, then it's probably gonna last a while because these suckers are expensive. I think I probably paid between between ten to fifteen dollars for a six pack. I mean, I haven't I haven't drunk these in a very long time. It just I shopping at Walmart. I just happened to be in the area where they had a whole bunch of these. I'm like, you know what? I haven't had these in a while, so figured, what the hell, I have six. So, you know, if, I'll probably end up having to ride it out. I think I have uh, two bottles left. So I'm guessing probably within the next two or three days, when I finish up the six pack, then I I won't buy any more of them until, until whatever. But, um, otherwise, one thing, um, probably started yesterday or the day before at work, um, another, um, another channel that came up on my YouTube recommendations, uh, Friday Night Fisticuffs, uh, people that have seen my other cast videos might know about it, I don't know, I can't remember if I, uh, actually posted up any of it, but, uh, his, his name is Wooly Madden, he's, a uh, He's a legend in the fighting game circles. So hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a drink of some Arizona green tea. One more thing I gotta do. Before um, uh, before I decided to take up fighting games again, um, it, this was uh, 
this is one of those uh one of those channels I watched. I think uh I know I watched uh Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown. There might have been one or two other videos that I've also watched. But yeah, um just watched them. And I hadn't had heard from them since up until a few days ago, so What do I like about them? Uh, let me give you a little sample here. Maybe it's still in here. Yeah. One of my all-time favorite uh, fighting games, Nidog. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta rewind. Rewind. This, yeah, this really sets the tone right here. Hey, what's going on, man? Come on in. Ready to play? But yeah, that, but yeah, that did it. I mean, it's just, because up, because up until that point, I was watching a lot of, uh, mostly like Evo tournament stuff. And whoops. I didn't know I was going to de full screen this one, but. But yeah, because, I mean, again, up until, up until that, up until I discovered that channel, it was just, you know, watching tournaments where everybody takes the game very seriously. I mean, it's understandable, you know, it's tur it's a tournament, you know, um, Evo, Frosty, or Frosty Fossey, um, I think there are others there too, but, you know, you're, the whole environment was just, you know, serious players, they study the frame data, it's like they're, Cramming for the college exam, that kind of thing. So, it's really great to see something like, uh, it's really great to see something like that. You know, just a bunch of guys just sitting on a couch, just having a gay old time. You know, not really, not really worried about, you know, frame data and, you know, exact combat mechanics and that kind of thing. You know, it just, you know, just set out and have some fun playing a fucking game. So, but yeah, so, but yeah, really glad that, uh, the YouTube, uh, algorithm kicked in and got that for me. Because, like I said, it's, it's been, it's been years since I've watched, uh, watched the, uh, the Fist of Cuffs or whatever the full name of it was. So. Okay, and... Up to the next subject. Those that have seen my other cast videos know that um, where I live, there's a there's a Salvation Army thrift store, literally right right next to the right next to the apartment complex parking lot. I could and often have walked there to buy stuff. Well, um, those that weren't around for my other cast. Around my neighbor, around my area, they're doing a highway overhaul. I think they're widening the roads, they're adding, they're adding up, they're adding a walkways and stuff, and repaving the high, repaving the roads and stuff like that. Just again, doing a whole overhaul. Well, one of the things that they're gonna do is they're gonna gut the Salvation Army thrift store that he used to go to a lot. That a lot of other people in my community also shop there a lot. They're getting rid of it, and they're going to replace it with a stormwater or a stormwater pond or a, a stormwater ditch. I think that's the correct name for it. Hey, wait, 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 wait! I'm taking another train. Hold on.
So, so yeah, but like I said, at the uh, end of the month, the place is shutting down. So, and I guess they're having a big time close out here, March 28th or 29th or something like that, but heck, let me uh, look it up on my calendar. Monday and Tuesday, so I'm definitely off on those days, so I'll definitely make it a point to do my uh, last ceremonial shopping there. Hopefully there will hopefully there'll be something to buy when I get there. Oh, hell, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. But, but anyway, like I said, they're... And, um... I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do it. I'll try to I'll try to pull up another image for you guys. Down my location and it's giving me locations way out in Florida. Uh, no, I live in Minnesota. And once again, um, a blue image might pop up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stop it from happening. time. But yeah, and um, but um, the fate, the fate of the thrift store, um, kind of parallels with the fate of a uh, pizza hut that used to, they used to have right around where I lived. It was right across the, uh, Right, ac right across the highway. I mean, a lot of family events went on there. And I, if I'd have remember, I mean, if I had time, I could probably, I'd, I'd want to find that and show that to you guys. But there was like a whole bunch of plaques and pictures, you know, in this, you know, family reunions. Um, there's probably some wedding receptions there at this Pizza Hut. You know, it's a pretty popular place in our community. You know, I ate. Back in the day, I used to eat there every week. You know, all you, all you can eat buffet. And yeah, we had a. Then, uh, I know on at least one occasion we had a family reunion there. A whole bunch of people on my mom's side of the family. We had a big get together at this pizza hut. But all of a sudden, right out of the blue, they shut it down. And uh, unlike the thrift store, I don't. I don't recall anybody ever knowing about this. It's just one day the place is open and you know it was all wait, wait, wait yeah, let me rewind a bit. One day the place was open and all of a sudden the very next day I decide, hmm, let's go eat I think I should go eat at Pizza Hut. Pull up into the park a lot and find that the place was shutting down and I look in the window and there's the employees are like rounding stuff up or you know packing up the plates, packing up the silverware and all that. I'm like, what the hell? So yeah, it just it just happened all of a sudden. And now they got moved to a fucking strip mall. So, a big time dog grade. Like, you can't even eat there. It's carry out only. So I'm guessing that's the same the same thing is going to happen to the damn thrift store too. Because I forgot to mention this, but um, they're not they're not completely getting rid of it. They're just moving it. Who knows? Maybe maybe they'll move maybe they'll move it right next to the Pizza Hut in this fucking strip mall. You know, a big time downgrade, you know. All this for you know, all this for a fucking stormwater ditch. 
I it's not you know nothing that's really gonna nothing that's really gonna make the city any money I mean you don't need a stormwater ditch I mean yes it rains where I live but this ain't the damn you know this ain't a goddamn Amazon rainforest or anything You know, I mean, if you're gonna, you know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to get rid of the thrift store, you'd at least put something else in there that would, you know, more, more important, I guess, you know. I mean, hell, you know, maybe another convenience store, even though there's already two or three, you know, right, you know, right next to me. I mean, something like that. Something more useful than a fucking ditch. So... Yeah. Piece of history that's been sitting up there for at least 12 years when I first moved into my apartment. It's just can be shut it shut down. Just like that. So but anyway, um So last thing I kinda wanna cover, um I was kinda debating on this, but uh I made the mistake of updating my, uh, my, uh, my Mozilla browser. Uh, yeah, so, it's all nice and secure and everything, which now means my, my Y2 Mate YouTube downloader, like I use it to download YouTube videos, that, it's basically been rendered null and void now. I tried, uh, I tried downloading something and I get, up. Uh, I got a message saying it failed. So what I had to do now is um I have to I have to use Google Chrome because I don't use that thing. So it's been ages since that thing's been updated. So I got to use that now. And and no, in for and for those that are for those that are thinking that I'm doing illegal shit, you know you know what I was using. I only maybe back in the day, I was down. I was I actually was doing that, downloading movies. But I also had an internet connection that would it would seemingly go on maintenance at least once a week. So that's you're looking at at least an hour when I have no internet. So yeah, I downloaded some movies mainly you know to give me something to watch while the internet is about. So I'm sure as hell not bootlegging or trying to you know illegally distribute or anything like that. But um, you know, so these days what I use it for now is just to down is to do copyright checks, like on the video you're hearing now, or on the album you're hearing now. I this is exactly what I did. I did a copyright check on it. I downloaded it, and then I re-uploaded it to YouTube. So once you once I've uploaded it, it'll give me a yay or nay on whether or not it's safe to use. And then, but after that, but after that, I, I, I delete the video because all again, all I want to know is whether or not it's safe to use. I try to keep my videos ad free. So, but once I get that decision, then I just, I just delete it from my hard drive because again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but that's all I use it for. It's just a copyright check. That's all I use it for these days. I mean, yeah, I might download an occasional movie but I already have a whole bunch of downloaded movies on my hard drive already and they're only there for again when when I have no internet just to give me something to watch I didn't know this album had a uh, singing in it so but Otherwise, that's pretty much going to do it for me. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say, and chances are I'll... Chances are I'll probably end up having to take another nap or two. Like I said, it's the kind of night it's been. And I'm hoping the reason why is because of the uh, energy drinks. If not, I don't know. But... If that is the case, then I'm going to have to write it off because, like I said, the stuff is expensive. I mean... So... 
So again, but hang on, I'm kind of babbling here. But anyway, um, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. I always do. Um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.